That's not it. <clears throat> There's more. You just want to fall asleep? Not today, bro. Not today. Four months ago. Thank you so much. So I have two iterations of that transition. I just wanted to fall asleep. I have the long one, and then I have an exactly the same one, but it's significantly shorter. It's basically just sped up. I have different screens for like, you know, searching for game. As if like when I'm in queue, I don't know. I have one I'm AFK. Ending the stream. It's Pog. It looks good, right? The only thing about this, I have two durations of this screen. I have one where it's cut off like in the middle, like, like right here, down. But neither of the squares are 16 by 9, like in the resolution in terms of like aspect ratio. So I kind of just did what I could to make it work, I guess. Do you guys think it looks better with or without a gap in between the camera and the game? This is just kind of what I can do because the aspect ratio is off. And I'm committing to Mendo. I'm trying to, I changed my Instagram to just Mendo for now. And I'm going to try to do this in for my Twitch and my YouTube. My in-game stuff and everything will still be Mendo Kusai. But I just, for the sake of like simplifying my URLs, I want it to be Mendo. Your stream fucking sucks ass, Lamau. Wait, chat, do I accept him? Dear friend, what do you think of, uh, of Hammond Hentai? Hammond Hentai? Yeah. That's fucked up, dude. I know, right? People should be up? fucking banned. What do you mean? It's, it's a 14-year-old hamster. Hey, Defran. Can you say brother for me? All right, stop being such a brother. fucking fanboy, Bustio. Brother. You, you know that's if you want team, him to Mendo. say something, you donate to his stream like everyone else, okay? All right, Mendo, yeah, fuck yeah. off. Mendo, fuck off. <laughs> You're making him an and edit? Then, uh, oh, that's why Bustio uh, kept uh, asking me to retweet whatever video he's going to post soon. He literally wouldn't stop asking me the entire day, and I just ignored it blatantly. Like, completely ignored it. I have three wisdom teeth I need to take out. In Sweden, it would be free. Here, it would cost me $3,000. People who play Doomfist are bad at the game. Hi, I actually have to agree. It takes skill to play on that. Yeah, what? You fucking take your keys off your keyboard, bind a Doomfist smack on your spacebar, lift your keyboard up, and smash it on your forehead? Hey, Mender, shut the fuck up. Ah, oh, sorry. That's what you do for any character, Boosty. Oh, my bad. Who's the better... <laughs> who's the better fist? Bench boy Bustio or the Masters player? Oh, you're a bench player. I mean, yeah, so are you. Well, fair enough. Double hit scan also a thing? Well, when we have a godlike player like me and a very bad player right, that I'm boosting for money do. like Bustio. You say one thing like that, I'm muting you too. But I'm avoiding you, buddy, and I'll follow you, follow you all night because I'm so fucking good at this game and humble too. Fuck, we missed her, dude. Little right, half health. Less than half. It's on the rock, on the sign. What is that call Literally out? Right there. See, you, see? Very, very low. Dead. Okay. Got the hill on point. There's a boosted player here. What? He's Carter. in our team. Not Carter. No, Carter's even worse. <laughs> Pretty sure he's talking about Mendo. We we alternate cleaning the kitchen, and it, I asked him you two days you before. Just no, dude, I fucking I pay over 60% of total costs for the house Eight we, or eight days ago. I asked Carter. Hey clean the kitchen this week And he got done doing it like last night and the week passed Mando, I'll clean your kitchen. No There's an age restriction <laughs> on being in my house my dude but Yeah, the thing is like I want the kitchen clean because I never fucking use it because I order food and I have like one bowl I use and I hide it so no one else can use it, so it's always clean for me. Unfortunately, and then when no, I'm done using the bowl, I do the dishes and I hide it again. And then I, I use a lot of uh, paper plates, so I just throw away the trash. Because I don't like doing the dishes, so. I feel like I just what? really, really dislike doing he the... Uh... I stream game oh yeah, XTC was going to move in, and then he flaked again. So he's not moving in. And I had a person who was going to move in, who was going to live here, and I told him, Hey, sorry, someone already took the room. Because XCC was going to move in, and then XCC ended up not moving in. So now I don't have anyone to pay rent for that room. And I had to pay like $3,500 in total for the room and the spot in the house that XCC was supposed to be in. He said he'll pay me back, but I don't know. <laughs> Wait, XCC suing Kotaku? For what, defamation? Yeah, I don't think that's a good move. Kotaku is fucking trash though, so everyone knows that. 
Koteku writing the fucking article on like Flame and Jake talking about like women in esports no. and stuff and taking comments and shit out of Our context completely. Try to paint like a bad direction of a conversation. It's fucking bullshit. Yeah, I mean, even if he says he will sue, he probably won't. He's told me that he's gonna do quite a couple of things that he hasn't done. So, you know, AC. AC told me he would pay the rent and the, pay the difference and stuff. So, I mean, if he does that, that's not a problem. I'm just trying really hard to find someone to take the spot now because I don't want to like lose even more money. I've already put like fifteen thousand dollars into like security deposits and extra rent that wasn't supposed to be paid by me so far. Why didn't he move? Uh, I think he wants to stay and then visa stuff. I'm not sure it's quite what visa stuff though because it would be domestic travel, so it shouldn't be a problem. But yeah. That's it. Security deposit. Yeah. Well, the security deposit is fine if it was just me. But my roommates don't have good credit, so I had to pay double security deposit for them. Do yeah, you credit? Like it's impossible not to have credit. Time. I actually I don't have credit I want because my social security number is brand new and it's so new and not used at all that it doesn't get like recognized by any systems or anything. I think we'd lose. So I literally have a non-existent credit un yeah, until like for a while. Yeah, I know how to start building credit, but I have a bunch of stuff to figure out first. What do you do when you have no money? I don't know. I've, I haven't run into that situation yet. I make sure I always have two months of rent in my bank account. And like, <laughs> next month's rent oh, no, is joke. That's really pathetic. significantly cheaper. Because I had to pay 600 bucks for AC coolant. And then it hasn't happened yet no, because no, 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 no. this is not like bad on outlaws in any capacity. But like outlaws are supposed to pay part of the rent yeah, as a reimbursement. So they have to go through like... No, Reimbursements normal. don't you don't pay taxes on like the same way as uh, paycheck we need to, we need to get the, for reimbursements, so they have to like figure out the reimbursement stuff and then they're paying part of my rent too. Which is really nice because it doesn't end up being that expensive. I fucking got I did it boys! I did it! Okay, the Reddit play, the effect play, blinking into the tracer and recalling boys. Fog. No, wait, you didn't heal me! Yeah, I was ready. Yeah, uh, being 20 nice. and having like a source of income, my priorities are living a healthy lifestyle and avoiding rent for as long as I can in my life. That means like saving as much of my money as possible. Outside of, you know, investing it into my stream or like my content creation or whatever, you know? Because they, they paid for the entire apartment in Burbank. But since they moved me out to Texas, they obviously have to pay for part of the rent here. And then I said, hey, I want a house. I don't want an apartment. So how about you guys just pay the equivalent of what an apartment would cost here? And then I pay the rest. What do you buy with any extra money? I don't like if there's anything that I buy that I shouldn't have bought is like these lamps, for example, they're like 250 bucks and I really like it. And I think that's for my stream. It's for my mood. And then I have Philips Hughes all over the house. Cause I fucking love mood lighting and it really helps my mood feel better, more energetic and stuff. And like I bought an expensive computer, you know, I have a 240X monitor. Anything I've like spent money yeah, on hey, is number. in relation to my... Like, I see it as an investment for my job, for my YouTube channel, for my Twitch channel, for, you know, whatever. It's an investment for me. And most of my money I try to save. I spend a lot of money on food because if I don't, I just find myself not eating. And I, that was really Damn. bad for a while for me where I was underweight and shit. Koda bought for the job, bought for my mental health. Oh, are you sniffing the food? You're not supposed to do that, puppy. It's, there's something I spend money on, it's candles. I like having lit candles in my rooms for the scent. Makes me feel good. Because I have a really, I have sinus problems, so my nose is like always stuffed and I'm like allergic to everything. So I have a really bad sense of smell. But candles, like nice candles, make it smell really good and I can actually smell it. This is how I deal with like when I feel like I'm really stressed, if I feel like I'm having a panic attack, dude, fucking anything. That's what you do. Close your eyes. You listen to the music. You really, really listen to the music. And when you're listening to the music, isolate one sound in the song. Isolate one sound. It could be the drums, the piano, it could be the rapper, the vocals, maybe a small ding here and there. And you try to visualize that sound that you isolated, the sound you isolate, try to visualize, you know, when it was recorded, what room was it in? Was it in a bathroom? Was it in, you know, 
a church? Was it in like a very sauna isolated studio? Was it in like your living room? Was it in an empty cave? Was it on a pedestal? And try to visualize everything. And just really focus on it. I don't have a playlist, but I can tell you some artists. I recommend Nujavis. I recommend Emancipator. I recommend Bonobo. I recommend Nitsua. I recommend Raujika. Bastia. Wait, kill him. Nice, Brendo. Brendo's dead. What the fuck, dude? Brendo, what are you doing? How did I not pin out to the wall? But yeah, so like what I do with uh, when I feel like stressed or overwhelmed or something, speakers or investing in really high end earphones or just good speakers or even earbuds or whatever, just whatever you feel like you can listen to music on and just focus on the minor details and visualize those details in the way that I described. It helps a lot. But the thing is you have to actually really try to do it because this it's like, when I learned mindfulness meditation, uh, that's the way I approached it because I've already done it before. So I can do that now without music too. Mendo, holy fuck, dude, you actually carried that. <laughs> this is my first time hearing Holy What an Insane Ryan. Yikes. <laughs> when people unironically compliment my Ryan, you know something's going wrong. I'm not supposed to do well, I'm supposed to feed. That's all I do. 